All right then, so now we've seen how to generate a map like this using parentheses and key value pairs. We've created a color palette map and we've also seen how to interact with the map using these different functions right here. Now what we're going to do is put this to greater effect by cycling through the map and generating classes for each of these items inside the map. So what I'm going to do is create a new file inside the Shinobi folder and this is going to be for colors, so underscore colors.scss. So we're going to create some color kind of utility classes for things like text color and background color. So I want to cycle through this map right here. Now before we do that, let's go to the index file and import it right here. So at import and we want the colors file. So it's below the variables, therefore we can use that map variable, the colors variable, inside our colors file. So how do we cycle through it? Well all we do is we say at each like so and then we say key comma val now you can call these variables what you want i think it's useful to call them key val sometimes because then i know that i've got the key which is this thing and the value which is this thing so we say key comma val and then in whatever map we want to cycle through which in our case is going to be colors and then curly braces so what this is going to do is cycle through the colors map and for each key value pair inside the map that we cycle through we get access to the key and the value and we can do something with those inside this each loop now these are just local variables so outside of this loop I couldn't just say you know use the key for something because it doesn't exist outside of the loop it's only inside the loop that these things exist all right so what do I want to do for each one of these key value pairs well I want to generate some kind of class so I want to generate a text color class for each one and a background color class for each one. So to do that, I'm just going to create a text selector. So text and then hyphen. And then inside the selector itself, the name of the selector, I want the key value right here. Remember, that's things like primary, secondary, error, info, etc. So I want the class to be text hyphen primary or text hyphen secondary. So how do we output the variable inside the selector name itself? Well, when we're doing that, we can't just say dollar sign key like so. That's not a valid selector. Instead, what we have to do when we're using a variable inside a selector like this, we have to say hash, then curly braces, and then the variable inside here. So we can now say dollar sign key. So that is going to be text hyphen primary or text hyphen secondary, etc. And then what we can do is just set the color of this, which will be the text color, to whatever the value of that key is. So that's the right hand side of the key value pair. So it's going to either be the primary color, the secondary color, or this, or this, etc. as it cycles through. So it cycles through each one of these and generates this class for each one of them. All right. So that's pretty cool, right? We don't have to manually write out all of those classes. We're just using an each loop to do it for us. And I can do the same for some kind of background class as well. So I'll say BG hyphen. We're going to use a variable inside the selector. So hash and then curly braces. And inside that we need dollar sign key so that's going to be bg hyphen primary bg hyphen yellow etc and in here we want the background color property and that's going to be set equal to whatever the val is all right so if i save this now hopefully if i open up the terminal no errors if we take a look at the output css and scroll down here we can see all of these different text and background colors that have been generated or classes rather that have been generated for us and we can use those now if we wanted to in our html file so what i'm going to do now is head over to the index.html file and underneath colors i'm going to paste this in because it's a fair amount of html but it would be really boring for you to watch me write this out from scratch so we just have a load of span tags and all i'm doing is using some of these different classes we've just generated so some for the text we have text primary secondary error etc and then some for the background so we have background primary background secondary and on these ones as well i've given it the text white class because remember inside the colors map we have white so we generated classes for that as well text hyphen white so if we see this in a browser now hopefully this will all have the colored text and this will all have the colored background but the text being white so I'm going to save this right here 
and inside the browser we can see all of those different text colors and all of the different background colors as well so that's nice we've now got utility classes for the different colors in our map and they were really easy to generate and if in the future you want to generate more all you have to do is add to that colors map all right then so back inside the colors file the next thing i want to do is also generate classes for light variations of each color and dark variations for each color so we can have things like this i could say text hyphen primary hyphen light hyphen seven where seven would maybe be quite light one would be a bit lighter nine would be the lightest and anything in between is some kind of mix between one and nine and i'd maybe want the same thing for dark so i could say primary dark hyphen five to make it darker so i want to do that now for each color so i need to do another loop inside this loop and this time we're not going to use the each loop we're going to use the for loop so let me show you how this works i'm going to do a comment that says light variations and underneath that we'll do at four because this will be a for loop now we're not cycling through the colors again we're already cycling through the colors right and for each color we want to cycle through that color maybe nine times to generate a light variation and a dark variation for it so i can use a for loop to do that i'd say for and then and make a little local variable called i and we say from whatever we want to go from which is going to be one in my case because that's going to be the class text hyphen primary hyphen light hyphen one it's going to go from one and we'll say through whatever we want to go up to. In our case, the darkest or the lightest is gonna be nine. So inside these curly braces now, I can just do the same kind of thing as I did up here. Only we're doing this now for each color. We're cycling through each color down here and generating these classes. And for each color now, we're cycling nine times in this for loop. So we can generate a light variation class nine times, different strengths. So I'm gonna say text hyphen, and then we're going to output a variable so hash and then curly braces and the variable is going to be key so it's going to be text hyphen whatever we're cycling through right here this key so it could be primary secondary yellow purple etc then we're going to say that this is going to be a light variation and then hyphen whatever strength this is going to be and that's going to be either from one to nine so one two three four etc and to get that we use this local variable because whatever iteration we're on that is going to represent it I, so it could be one to nine. So again, output a variable inside curly braces is I. So we're gonna end up with text hyphen, whatever color, primary, hyphen light, hyphen three, for example, okay? And we're gonna get this for each number. So all I want to do is give this a different text color. And the way we're gonna do this is by mixing white with whatever the value is to make it lighter. And we can do that in SAS using a built-in function, really easy to do. We can use the mix function and we just basically say two colors we want to mix. Well, we want to mix white with whatever the value is. So val, remember, that's this thing up here. So if we're currently on primary, it's going to be that primary blue color. We're mixing it with white. And then the third argument is basically how much we want to mix it in some kind of percent. Now, I'm going to say I right here times 10. So what that's going to do is for the first iteration, it means I is 1 and it's going to mix 10% white with this value so make it a little bit lighter when i is 2 it's going to be 20% so it makes it more lighter when i is 3 30% etc so it's going to get lighter and lighter as it reaches 9 all right so i'm going to do something similar for the background so i'm going to say text hyphen key hyphen light in fact it should be background so bg hyphen key hyphen light hyphen whatever number and this time instead of the color it should be the background color so background hyphen color all right so we have all those different variations now for light now i want to do a very similar thing but this time i want to do it for the dark variations so let's copy that change this to dark again we're cycling from one to nine this time it's going to be dark here in the class name and down here as well and also we want to mix black with the color instead of white to make it incrementally darker so let's do that as well black and black and this stays the same because the strengths are going to go up in series of 10 each time around. So 10, 20, 30, 40, etc. So if I save this now, hopefully there's going to be no errors down here in the terminal. There's not. And if I open up the index.css, we can see all of these different variations between one 
to 9 for each of the colours to make them lighter and darker. And you can see right here, the lighter ones are getting incrementally lighter until right at light 9, it's almost white, all right? And the same is true for the dark variations for each colour as well. Now, this has generated a ton of classes. Look at all these classes we have. Now there's over 2,000 lines in total of CSS. Now, don't worry about that because in the future, I'm going to show you how to purge unused styles. So if you're using this in production, you're not going to have a huge style sheet. But for now, we're not going to concentrate on that. We just wanted to generate these classes and see how it works. All right, so let's try using these classes now inside the HTML. And again, I'm just going to copy something from my repo. So you don't have to watch me type this out from scratch. And underneath the others, I'm going to paste this in. So just another series of span tags with a class of BG hyphen primary. And all I'm doing is showing a few dark variations and then the primary itself without a variation and then some light variations. Now I've skipped out the odd numbers just to save space in the browser, that's all, but I could add them in if I wanted to. So we have text white for each of these as well. So let's see what this looks like in the browser. And over here, we can see all of these different variations of the primary color. And the same would be true for text color as well. It's not just background we have, we have text color variations. So that's pretty nice. We have this huge color palette now of different variations of colors as well that we can use by just using these different color utility classes. And that was done very easily using loops.